All right. We should be back, and uh, I didn't make you watch me getting back to this point. I just basically did everything I did last time, so we can just uh, continue from here. I'm just gonna check if there's anything in the basement. Well, anything new, rather, I suppose. Before we uh, get a move on. This game has started to crash a lot. It didn't do that at first. Then again, I was told that this game is... Um, Actually, no, I don't think there's anything here. I was told that this game is very unstable, so I guess I should have um, expected that, that. Actually, there's one thing I forgot to do. Uh, I've I've been, uh, or like, I, I have implemented some things that should technically stop, or at least uh, help with the crashes, but we'll see if they actually worked. There are a few other things I can do if it keeps crashing, but like if it keeps doing this, I like will be playing this next uh, October as well, considering this is not advancing all that quickly. Uh, I want to pick that up, please. Thanks. I wonder what else we could do before the. Um Uh, before the time thing we need to be at. Also, I'm just glad that the uh, save files haven't corrupted yet, as far as I'm aware. Don't know how it... Uh, uh, like, how do you know if it's corrupted? Is it just because it stops working completely, or... You know, also, where is my car? It was supposed to be... I left my car right here. That's why I'm a bit curious. Wait. Is this the... Because... Wait. Because this police station is open. Is there something for me here? Still? Uh, where's... Was it, uh, was it George? Or what was the name of the... The... Uh, sheriff? Ah, uh, fine, let's steal stuff. Oh, there's nothing there. Also, let me just shave in their kitchen. Right next to their food. Like, oh yes, this is... Oh, Thomas. I think it was Thomas. Was it? I don't remember. I, no, 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 no. Thomas was the... the, the the one who makes food, that's right. Where is that guy? Where is the sheriff? He should be here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. At this point I might be just wasting time, to be honest. Well, there's not too many rooms here. I'm not gonna go back into the basement. Actually, what do these do? Oh. That's a very Resident Evil-esque thing, wouldn't you agree? Only one of them have files. All of the others are empty. That's interesting. I guess. Yeah, this is the last place I'll look. Uh, Thomas is here, but not the one I was... Uh, does he have anything to say? <sighs> Back! Go away! Don't... What? Don't come any closer, Thomas. No. 
Uh, is he sleepwalking? Uh, Thomas. Uh, what? Uh, oh, Agent York. I'm sorry, I must have just dozed off. Late night last night? Uh, no. Well... Uh, I work nights at my sister's bar to help her out, so... Your sister's bar? Uh, it's not like I'm moon... Moonlight or anything. Moonlighting. And it's a peaceful town. A peaceful town with a first degree homicide case. <laughs> Try to stay alert, okay? Uh, yes, I'll be more careful. Well, he certainly is a character. Oh well. There was nothing interesting here. I feel like the next few episodes will basically be just either me going about doing fuck all, basically, or then it's just gonna be story, depending on... Because hmm. I can go there at the earliest in a few hours in-game, which I don't know how much... Oh, Emily's here. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. Oh. I would like to be able to basically... Oh, I see that metal. God damn it. I must get it. I simply must. Huh. So if I ho have handbrakes on, the tires really just don't move. But wait, you can drive with... Okay. That's... A feature. Okay, I can't. Come on. I want to see behind me. We I wonder if there's a mod to this game that doesn't, you know, turn the camera when you turn the... Especially when it kind of... It's turning it in the wrong direction. It should be turning, in my opinion, to the direction where you are turning, not the opposite one. It makes it hard to see where you're going. Like, who the fuck? <sighs> At the diner we were... Or, I was just in. We also were there last time, but you know. Is there, like, anything else interesting to do around here? I mean, I'm sure there is, but probably quite far away, so... I think we're just gonna go there and, you know... Advance. Also, tell me, am I the only one who thinks that the camera turning like that when you turn the, your car is a bit nauseating? I mean... Uh, well, I don't have motion sickness or anything, but it... it oh, no, that's not the... It, bothers me so fucking much that the camera does that. Wait, did I pause it? Or is it this one? I think it's this one. Like... Why? Oh. I mean, yeah. I, I, I think it's supposed to turn at some point, yes. But not immediately like this. Jeez. It's almost easier to... Drive. Oh crap. Um. Wait. I. Uh oh. Also, the physics when it comes to the car are weird. 
Maybe the car gets more momentum because the camera fucking flips. Sorry. It's just so freaking annoying when it does that. You know, why does the camera have to do that? Why? So what happens if, if I'm here early? Zack, Emily arranged for people to come between 1500 and 1700. We can't do anything here right now. Let's come back at the right time. L no. Um, okay. I'm gonna just use a cigarette, which I believe will help me in this situation. It's a secret tool that we can use later. Realize that the clock behind me shows the time. Okay. Wait. Oh, he's here too, isn't he? Oh, hi, George. I can't talk with him. But yeah. Harry's here. I mean, yeah, we did kind of tell everyone to be here, but still. Also, what the fuck is with the bloom on that, you know, uh, the leaves on that one tree? Does I think it's supposed to be bloom? Please don't crash during this. Greenvale Community Center. Now that's an impressive building. The clock tower is impressive too. I haven't been on stage like this since elementary school. I'm not some tree in the wind this time either. Well, that was a tough roll. I was a piece of scenery. Bright red tree. <clears throat> Thank you all for coming today. Getting right down to business. Agent Morgan from the Federal Bureau of Investigations wishes to speak with you. Good afternoon. I'm Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Some of you are already aware by now of the tragic murder of Anna Graham. Truly a heinous, terrible crime. I've come to this town to solve the murder of this young, beautiful girl. And to bring the one responsible to justice. Unfortunately, incidents like these have a tendency to happen again. I asked to have you gathered here so I can share some advice in order to minimize the risk of further fatal incidents. Firstly, please stay away from any dark, dangerous, isolated places. Those of you with children, especially of Anna's age. Please, guide your children away from such places at all costs. Secondly, avoid going out when it is raining. Now I've heard the folklore story of the raincoat killer. There is a chance that the murderer is mimicking the story. Women should also be especially careful I would hate to see more victims. Mm -hmm. Huh. Oh, wasn't she one of our 
suspects. Also, what's with the music choice? Who's the fashionably late one? That's Carol, Thomas's sister. She owns a bar. Thomas's sister. As I have said, avoid going outside when it is raining. Young women should be especially careful. Report anything or anyone suspicious immediately. The murderer will be caught and brought to justice. But you must all remain on guard until we do so. That's all I have to say. Thank you. I'm gonna be disappointed if he's not the killer. Which I suppose is actually kinda likely to be that he's a red herring. Guess we'll see. When paying for our sins, we must not frown. The loss of Anna was for that debt. When purple fog covers our town, we'll all wander in hell, I fret. So says Mr. Stewart. Well, that wasn't weird at all. Sure knows how to steal thunder. Well then, Zack, let's ask some questions before all these guys leave. I kind of feel like that this game has like two, or like three, four uh, music tracks. Agent Morgan, here's your chance to get to know some of the townsfolk. Don't let it go to waste. Of course not. Um. No, let me just steal someone's coffee. Quite a performance. Mysterious and very poetic. But I don't think many of your audience appreciated it. Mr. Francis York Moore. The purple fog appears with rain, soiling and ruining our town. The evil does not drain. Find out why the town is soiled. Remove the source from which it boiled. Then and only then your case is solved. But for this to happen, to solve the crime, the proper must do the proper at the proper time. It is not yet mine, that is, Mr. Stewart's time, not mine. But if you, Mr. York, find the right timing to chat with me, that is, with Mr. Stewart, may that be informative and fruitful you will see so says mr stewart so harry you know something but there's some reason why you can't tell me yet is that what you're trying to say cut the poetic rubbish harry and tell us what you know we can force you to talk you know Mr. Francis York Morton, pay close attention to the signs, the omens, and the premonitions. Small they may be, they still are finds, and helpful to your investigations. So says Mr. Stewart. Thanks for the warning, Harry. But don't worry. Me and Zack, we know what we're doing. Also that hand uh, motion that the... Um George did there. Is that like a com? I wonder if that's a common thing in Japan because I've seen that few times now. And uh, like in other games besides this one, I mean. So I wonder if it means something in Japan. Agent York, your words really made me think about Anna's death again. 
How could one do such a terrible thing? I'm still in shock. <sighs> Thomas, I forgot to ask. You don't have a tattoo on your back, do you? A uh, tattoo? Uh, I do, actually. But why? Could you show it to me, please? What? Now? Here? Yes, please. This is vital for our investigation. Is it, though? Okay. If it's gonna help you any. Like, could you just wait? <sighs> well, I'm wondering who G is now, but aside from that... Did it tell you anything? It told me that you didn't kill Anna. Of course not. What are you saying? <laughs> you ought to see that tattoo, Zack. A big heart with an arrow through it and love G in the center. George. I don't know when he got that done, but... Would it be? We've all been through the 80s. I wonder if it's supposed to be love George, because he's a bit of a... Um... Oh well, you know what I mean. Agent York, are you finished asking questions yet? Mm, when you're done, no. let me know. We'll all get dinner. Again? Okay, so is there anyone else I can talk to? Most of these guys are quite literally just NPCs. The suspect's there, so... Hmm. Ah, well, you guys are new. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. So Anna was killed. But why does that bring the FBI here? I have an interest in murder cases involving young women. Well, you know, man, this might just be another case to you. But it means the death of a friend to me. I don't want you taking this lightly like it's just another case. I never take anything of this nature lightly, I assure you. I'm here to apprehend the perpetrator who did this. Yeah, because local enforcement can't shine their own boots, right? Good point. You can't always count on the police now, can you? But that doesn't mean you're going to capture the perpetrator yourself, Quint. How do you know my name? I memorized the name of every citizen before arriving in town. I also know about you and your significant other. You mean Becky? Don't underestimate the FBI. We know and see everything. <laughs> I'm sorry if I was a little harsh. I want to help, I do. Okay? Okay, Zach, I'll tell you how I knew his name. He's got a small Q on his hat. That was the only name beginning with Q that I could think of. He was even kind enough to tell us his girlfriend's name. I can read him like a book, Zack. Right. So who are you, then? You're York, right? I'm Richard Dunn, the owner of the darts bar, Swery 65. Hmm. How'd you like the town? Oh, it's great. Aside from the murder that happened here. Yep. Murder just doesn't fit with a small town like ours. Well, Richard, I'll have to correct you on that. Crimes don't care about size. Big town, small town, just isn't a factor. Uh, I guess you're right. So, how did you know Anna? I've known her since she was a child. She was the same age as my son. You know, she always stood out, being pretty and all. Just like her mother, Sally. What do you know about Sally? Well, I, I went all through school with her right here in town. I never thought our children would be the same age. I don't see her here today. Ah, oh, well, see, she lost her husband, and this time it's her daughter. She's at home right now, trying to make peace with it all. You seem to know a lot. How long have you been in love with her? <laughs> hey, hey, don't go there. That scar of yours tells me you got your hands full too, right? Let's not dive into personal matters. It'll be better for you and me. You're right, Richard. Collecting gossip won't help with the matter at hand. You think? Damn, York has a fucking 
attacked with a freaking cannonball. If that's even the right way to put Good that. Good agent. Huh? Oh, Gravekeeper. Good evening, Mr... Brian. The Gravekeeper. <clears throat> Brian. Mr. Brian. I like the retro look. Auditioning for Little Grave on the Prairie? Anna. Oh, she was so beautiful. Too soon. Mm. Too, too soon to go to the grave. So sad. So sad. I totally agree. That's why I'm here. Looking for the one who did it. Were you close to her? Mm. Anna. <laughs> her smile. So warm. Anna, blonde hair, so bright. Uh, huh. There's a graveyard somewhere in town, Zack. I'm not excited about the idea, but maybe we should at least check it out. Yeah, I think I know where they where it is. 